case of Vanguard Shime here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with Moon Knight episode 5, um, Asylum. Now, can you believe it, guys? We already have one more episode to go, and I'm super excited. Um, for this episode, obviously, we were left on a very strange cliffhanger. It was very strange. A lot everybody's got their theories. Obviously, the people who have read the comics know a lot more than the people who are going in blind, much more like myself and many others who are on the internet. Um, and honestly, it, this show has been one of my favorites. I think besides WandaVision, this is one of my favorites. It's just so unique. It has such a great, like, I don't know, like, difference to towards the other shows. It feels like after WandaVision, a lot of the shows had, like, a sort of similar vibe. This, it's so unique, so different, and just, I love it. Mwah. It's so good. Um, but enough of that. I want to jump straight into this episode, because it looks absolutely amazing. And we were left on, again, a cliffhanger, and I just want to know what the hell is going on. So let's get straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh. This is all. What? Oh my god, his face. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, is it putting him back into this? Wait, what? Good and bad. Ugh. Oh. Anyway, I do actually have Black Panther reference. Right through these doors, for example. You go through here, there's gonna be a bunch of patients, and there's probably probably got the yell. Oh my god! Holy shit! Whoa! What did you say we're going? We're sending. Oh my god, they're so cute, Mark and Steven. Whoa! <laughs> oh, because of chaos, I don't think it'll balance, right? Missing the third person? Oh. Is this all the people he's killed? Ugh. Ugh. Children. Is that Mark as a kid? Steven! Wait, did Mark kill the mum? Or something, or the brother? Oh! Oh, Stephen. Oh, yeah, the family's Jewish. Yeah, there was that big thing on the internet about that, too. You were supposed to keep him safe. Stephen, let's go. Dad is so sweet. Uh oh. The... Shit, 
What? Poor thing. Dude! Oh, dude, I literally was having a conversation about this yesterday with my sister and her boyfriend and my parents. Oh my god. Mm, we were talking about parents who, not like this, but like, mm, like the parents who like abandoned their kids, but also just like, even in this con context, like, I understand in the grief, because grief can do weird things to your brain. It just, oh my god, it hurts me so much. It makes me really upset. I actually like really... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> really like rage rising in me, but yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, that transition though. Oh, is this where Mark died? Wouldn't put it past you. Him. Is that Layla's father? <gasps> he was trying to help them escape. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. No, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Get back inside. You don't have long. Cut those scales balanced. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. We can just talk. Let's just talk. Right here. Right now. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Die. Layla dies, that's on your head. It'll be all your fault. No, 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 you can't! I won't do it! I won't do it! You can't make me! No, 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 no. What? What the hell? Because Harrow's so manipulative as well, it's like, mm. No, there's something in that water, don't drink it. The DID Steven Oh bitch to see that that's the whole point of you The point of me That was the original Simple, normal life. You understand? But it was all a lie, wasn't it? So what? What does it matter? What, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? That hated you? That, that made your life a living hell? And Molly is trying to upset me. But you got to live thinking that she loved you. That she was kind. Oh my god, yeah, when he was calling at the beginning of the show. No, 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 She's not gonna answer. Steven, no, Steven knows. Oh, he's crying. Wait, oh, is she not answered? Is it somebody else pretending to be the mum? Oh, I wanna give him a big cuddle. Don't cry, baby. 
Oh! Okay. Makeup on too. Shit, I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, cool camera angle. Oh, the transition. Oh lord. Oh Jesus. Oh, well, there's the roof you're talking about, Mark. Oh. Yes, Stephen, you can do it. Whoa! Oh damn! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> ah! <gasps> Steven! <gasps> no, is he turning to sand? shot what wait what no that can't be it Nothing at the end. What? So is Steven dead now? Or is gone? Oh my god. That hurts. Whoa. God damn it. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, but. Oscar Isaac in this episode, just this episode alone, he deserves a freaking Emmy for like being Steven and then being Mark. Like, absolutely incredible performance, like, all across the episode. So, so good. Um, I'm still so confused about what's gonna happen now because he's in the reeds of whatever it is, which is paradise, or you go to the other place. Which is bad. So like... What? And then we're close to the door! And then also, the stuff with the... With the... With the... What's it called? With the, um... The psychologist room? Like, with doc Dr. Harrow? I'm so confused! Like, what? <laughs> oh, this is... Yeah. Overall, this episode was so good. I love that we got to go through Mark's backstory. It was heartbreaking to see what he went through. Um, it was so sad. And then obviously the DID sort of coming into play. And then obviously we see Steven for the first time when he is younger, when he is a child. Um, 
sort of obviously becoming someone, a personality that is very, who is sort of like the protector in this sort of sense. And he is the one who sort of takes all of this on. Um, and yeah, Mark doesn't have to, not that he doesn't have to deal with it, but it was, it's sort of as a protection barrier. Steven also goes through all that stuff. That's just so heartbreaking. But then like, what? Like, again, Steven, we started off with Steven, which is, again, it's so interesting how they've gone through this, but like, what the heck? I'm so like, my brain is just like, What's gonna happen next? Like, is Steven gonna come back? Or is, like... Oh, God. It's such a good show, though, dude. Like, as confusing as it is, it's so good. Um, But it's just like, what? What? And what? <laughs> honestly, I'm just... I've been sitting here for, like, a couple of minutes just thinking, but I honestly think this is the most deep, meaningful, and heart-provoking, or, like, even just emotionally provoking thing that Marvel has done. I think compared to what they did with- I think it's on the level that they did with WandaVision, um, but this is more, like, digging deep into trauma, and this is the stuff that, like, I've wanted. It's very different to how I thought we'd get it, but this is, like, on such a good level. Like, I'm enjoying this so much, because discussing trauma in a very unique way, and obviously with the mental health aspect of DID episode, but again, going back to, like, the deep stuff, like, they were really going into, like, childhood trauma, trauma that can be caused by parents and even just grief, and that's not a lot of things that has ever been discussed in the Marvel Universe, and this has- these sort of topics are spoken about in the comics, um, but in the Marvel sort of movies and stuff, and even with DC to a certain level, not as much, but with more with Marvel, it's sort of like on the surface level, you don't get like real deep, but this, like I haven't felt that moment where Mark is on the ground crying on the road, like I haven't felt that much pain watching something from Marvel. I think the only scene that was like that was definitely the scene with Wanda. This sort of is on the same level as Wanda with the note when she sees the layout of the house that Vision had for her. Um, and it says like the, our home or something. I can't remember because I haven't watched WandaVision in a very long time. And then she like, her chaos magic is released. But that was sort of the same level of pain. I think this is even more though because this, I did not expect any of this in this episode. Like, I thought that, like, yeah, they'll just graze over the fact that, you know, like, obviously he, like, his brother did die, and then the mother obviously was very, like, you know, did some stuff, but the fact that they, like, showed the belt, they showed everything, like, literally, I was like, like, hello? Like, what? And just, mm, it's heartbreaking, um, and I love that, and I want to see more. Marvel, do not stop at just this. I want to see this more in all your shows, in all your movies, go into this sort of detail. Well, I mean, obviously it's different because of movies and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just, I absolutely love this. And I want more of it. Um, but yeah, I feel like with the balance, with the, the balance set, thinking about it now, I don't think Steven's coming back, which is heartbreaking. But I mean, in the same sort of way that that happens with DID, and I've heard of it. I'm not an expert, so don't take me on this, but, like, I've heard people talk about it and even just done research on my own, where the personalities sort of, like, merge together, um, or one sort of, like, doesn't, um, sort of emerge for a while, or, um just sort of never comes out again, I guess. I, can't, I don't really know how to say it properly, but just know that I'm trying to be respectful as possible when talking about DID. Um, but yeah, that's what I've heard from just like research I've done, obviously experts talking about it, and people who do have DID who have spoken about it. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing in that sort of way, I guess maybe touching upon that, and then maybe in terms of like Moon Knight as the character. The other personality that we all have been talking about um, this third personality that never sort of showed up. I thought it was going to show up in this episode. Maybe he shows up in the next one, in the last episode. But, like, maybe he comes out, and maybe because Steven's gone, that's why the scales are tipped. Because maybe... Not that... Oh, I don't know how to say this, because I really love Steven. He's like a wholesome cinnamon roll that I want to wrap up in a big hug and just protect him at all costs. Um, but yeah, like I feel like maybe because Steven has protected Mark for so long, maybe Mark um, now has to step up and just, you know, take it, unfortunately. Take that sort of like, that pain and that trauma and deal with it. But, you know, 
he, in the same vein as like what how Steven was created in a way that he you know no fear no nothing now Mark knows that in a way that he's sort of addressed his past addressed the trauma that he's gone through he can face anything with no fear maybe I'm not sure but it's like I'm really sad and I'm heartbroken just oh dude God damn. Like, everybody says, like, it's the meme whenever something heartbreaking happens. Like, Marvel, you're paying for the therapy bills. Mm-hmm. You are. Th <laughs> Marvel, you most definitely are. Because this episode was, whoo, very painful. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the second last episode of Moon Knight Asylum, um, episode 5. Um... God damn, I, my, my heart is broken and just, I feel pain. Um, and just, yeah, I don't, like, again, like, Oscar Isaac was absolutely phenomenal. And just, I can't wait for next week's episode, but I'm still, like, confused. I'm like, what's gonna happen? Like, will this third personality pop out and do something? I don't know. Um, or will Layla get involved? Or will Mark have to sort of pull himself out of that ancestral plane by himself? Sort of like, I guess, well, not, well, I mean, Black Panther was referenced. So maybe, well, I mean, did T'Challa have to do it on his own? Well, I mean, he took the fruit went to sleep, and then woke up. He didn't really do anything to wake himself up, he just woke up. So maybe Mark does something, not necessarily do something, but he accepts something, and then he wakes up, and then he's, like, alive. But then she was saying, like, you can't wake up. If you wake up, you're waking up with a bullet in your body. So what's gonna happen then? Oh, God. I'm so confused, but I want... <laughs> like, <clears throat> like, they've... Because I was worried that they weren't going to tie up this episode very well. But they did. They touched upon every single point that sort of was brought up. Which was good. Um, and now the final episode's going to be huge. Um, but it's just like, what's going to happen? And how's it going to happen? And I wonder how long it is. Because these 50 minute episodes have been really good. But like, is the last episode going to be like an hour and a bit? Like, what's the deal? Um, so yeah, I guess that'll be interesting to have a look at when it does come out. Um, I, I get maybe the time will come out beforehand, but then it's a, it's, I never check anyway. So like, I'll see it when the episode comes out. But anyway, I'm going to stop here because otherwise I'm, I'm actually going to be rambling about this forever because I'm like stuck and I'm like, I, my baby, Steven, like I don't, oh. I feel like he actually isn't going to come back, which is heartbreaking. I really don't want to accept it, but at the same time, like, I'm, I, mm, <laughs> like, you know, like, I don't want to keep my hopes up because this happens all the time. And I'll be like, oh, they're going to come back. It's fine. I, I don't want to put my hopes on the table just yet. I feel like he's not coming back, which is heartbreaking. <laughs> oh, God. Um... But yeah, I'm going to stop because otherwise I'm going to be sitting here sad and bleh. Okay, also in the next few days, I did film it, but I lost the footage. So I'm re-filming my update video for like life because this, like my schedule is about to change and everything. So yeah, just keep an eye, keep an eye out for that, please. <laughs> so again, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!